The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Mr. Speaker, I rise today with a deep concern over the rampant spending that has come out of this chamber over the last two years. While our constituents suffer from 40-year high inflation, this chamber has done nothing to help them. Instead, my colleagues across the aisle have doubled down on their reckless spending and continue to make each bill bigger than the last. The spending has got to stop. We know that the American Rescue Plan was the catalyst for our inflation problems. We know that Biden's agenda has worsened those inflationary pressures. And yet today, today, we're looking at even more exorbitant spending. We've been here before. Many of my colleagues remember the 70s and the 80s when inflation was even worse than it is today. Inflation isn't new. We know how to reverse it. We have to stop the spending. That's what my amendments do, cuts our spending. I urge every member of this chamber to support my amendments, which will cut wasteful spending from government programs. The status quo is not serving our constituents. For 20 years, we've operated without the appropriate appropriations process in this country. For the last four years since I've been in Congress, I've never seen a budget that's been provided and worked out, as my colleague just mentioned prior to me. The spending has continued to rise unchallenged. When will it end? To maintain what we've done for the last 20 years is a disservice to the people counting on us. When I'm home in Oklahoma, the only thing my constituents ask me is, how are you going to stop inflation? I know it's the same for all of my colleagues. Here's how we can answer them. Cut the spending. I urge adoption of my amendments from both sides of the aisle, and I yield the balance of my time. Thank you. The gentlelady reserves. The gentlelady from Connecticut is recognized.